Welcome to Popular Pixel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're taking a look at the new Legend of Zelda game on the Nintendo Switch. Of course, it's also uh, it was released on the Nintendo Wii U as well. Um, but we're doing the Eventide Island, or Eventide, whatever it's called. Um, basically what it is, this is an island. As soon as you get onto the island, there's this voice that starts speaking to you. And it tells you that um, to, to get through here, to be able to uh, get on to the next shrine, um, you're going to have to take on this challenge. Uh, they're going to take all of your equipment away from you, your your items, your clothing, your um, your potions, your food, everything. The only thing you're left with, essentially, is just the runes. Um, so make sure that you spam those runes as much as you can. As a matter of fact, um, when you first get out here, you're going to want to turn your bombs on. I turn those on immediately. As a matter of fact, hold on, let me turn the flat one on. So anyways, as you're running around, you're going to want to grab as much food as possible. If you see an item laying on the beach, you're going to want to grab that. Crabs, they're good. Um, grab that as well. Run over to these rocks. Spam the A button until you pick them up. Drop it again. We're going to walk over here. Get the attention of these little moblins. They're going to start headed this direction. And he's actually going to kill his own friend. So we're going to let him take care of that. Oh, man. They just took out my fish, too. Man, all right, never mind. I gotta get over there before that fish burns. Oh, too late. Too late. Crap. All right. All right, well, before my sticks burn up, I better get those picked up, too. Well, I just lost um, a bunch of food. That could be a huge pain. So I'm going to have to be extra careful here. So anyways, uh, the Traveler's Sword is inside the box here. We're going to go ahead and pull up a bomb, drop it, load these two things up. we got a little bit more food laying around. Let's grab that. Watch out for crab. Make a delicious meal. Grab the sword that's over on the beach as well. I see crab. I'll go get that guy. Grab that one too. There's another one right in here. Oh, I just realized I missed the shield. There's a shield back on the beach over there, but you know what? Instead of even bothering with that shield, I'm going to use magnesis here. much better shield in this chest anyways. Alright. So anyways, there's a uh, Octorok over here. We're going to go ahead and take care of him. If you can get the timing right, that is. Alright. You want to take care of him, um, otherwise he will end up being a nuisance to you later on, so just do it now. Over this hill, we're going to come up to um, an outpost with some more of those little moblins, whatever they're called. Now, they're all archers, so we're going to actually grab their attention. You've got to do this very gingerly, though. Um, as they shoot, you're going to be spamming the A button and running around. We don't want to get hit by these. A lot of the times, these things can take you out with one hit. And obviously you don't want that to happen, so make very wide sweeps as you go around so that way you're not going to end up getting hit. But uh, as you're spamming that A button, keep an eye on them. Watch where they're aiming, watch where those arrows are going, because you do not want to get hit like I almost did there. Now you can only get about 15 of these or so. Um, basically the uh, programs didn't want you just running around collecting as many free arrows as possible. So eventually these things will stop um, just sticking in the ground. They'll just disappear. Um, and I think I've exhausted that by now. All right, well, get my bombs turned back on. We're gonna run over here to this first. This guy is so much easier to take out than the others. It's 
kind of off, buys lonesome, grab the items, kill this thing. If he comes out, you don't want him getting in your way. for good on that. Alright, well, here comes the rain. You know what that means. We've got to turn off any of our equipment that is made out of metal. Climb up the stairs. Inside this treasure chest is just another bow. You can go ahead and grab that if you'd like. Uh, most likely you won't need it if you picked up the other ones already. Oh, get out of my way. Grab the sphere, and we're going to head back down the stairs here. Now, this part, we got to be very careful. Um, obviously, when we're going through the forest over here, we got to get back over to the other side of this island. Um, and you do not want to lose placement of this. Um, there are going to be times where there might be explosions or whatever that are going to make this thing go flying off into the water. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we have to be very careful about where we place it. I'm going to come up and around here, and after this very first drop in this corner here, this is where I'm going to place it. That seems to be the safest place for it that I've noticed anyways. We're going to grab these bananas here. You may even ask why we're dropping it. Well, I don't want to take any chance of losing it. So, around here, there's a treasure chest. That treasure chest is actually a trap. So, there's an Octorok hiding. We're going to... Oh, man. We're going to blow that first one. We're going to throw the second one, blow up that Octorok. Sorry about you guys not being able to see that. Um, I kind of hit a wrong button there and it made it flip angles on me. All right, grab the sphere. We need to continue on. We're headed over to the altar now. Um, the altar, of course, is in the water. Um, luckily, I've already picked up a, a, a palm branch, but if you don't have a palm branch, I'll show you what you have to do to get some more of those. Head on over here by the altar. We're going to go stand in the sand, and we're just going to go ahead and place this on the ground. I see an Octorok bobbing up and down over there. And he's, of course, going to try to hit me. All right, let's get a weapon on, because I may end up getting attacked on the beach. Well, if you don't have a palm branch, what you're going to want to do is blow up palm trees. You blow them up, sometimes they'll drop them right at the base there. Um, again, I'm not going to spend any time with it in this video, because it's obvious that I've already got one. Go back to the opposite end of the beach yet again. Over here is going to be a raft. We're going to hop up on this raft, and there's also a claymore over in the corner there if you want it. Show you it's right there. Anyways, hop up on the raft. Get the wind going. Get it into the water. Be very careful about this, though. You don't want to go so far away from the shore that you're going to end up getting pulled out of this challenge. Obviously, you don't want to be touching the shore either. For some reason, boats just don't ride on sand very well. It's weird how that works that way. Anyways, if you haven't noticed, we're going to bring this all the way back to where the shrine is at. I, I'm sorry, not the shrine, but the altar. Alright. 
got to be careful here because I've had Staphos come up out of the ground and attack me. Actually, I don't know if those are technically Staphos or not. If you're not close enough to the rock, use that to get up there. But what you want to do is you want to toss that up there, get yourself up there, put it in the hole. Alter 1 is completed. Now we just have two more left. Go back to the beach and all the way back to the other side once again. If you do have one of these palm branches, hold on to it. You might need it later. Um, hopefully you won't, but uh, if you get one of those spheres that goes off into the water, you need to use the raft to go get it. Um, by all means, you'll have it already. You won't have to hunt for another one. I, for now, am going to go ahead and turn this on. You know what? Actually, the storm's over, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of my gear back on. And, actually, since I lost some of my food, you should also be going ahead and taking those crab that you've been finding and cooking them. cook them up too. All right, now finish going this direction. I see on according to my clock, it's 11 o'clock here. Um, that means that the blood moon is going to be coming out. Today just happens to be the day of the blood moon. Um, so I'm going to get over here and get into position. I obviously don't want to kill anything that is going to be an issue later on. I then have to just kill it again after the blood moon. You know, the funny thing is about this Blood Moon, it really, uh, the first time it popped up, it made me think back to the early 1990s, back when I was in 6th, 7th, 6th, I guess it would have been 7th grade, um, when the Super Mario Brothers Super Show used to be on, on Fridays, though, they would have the Legend of Zelda cartoon instead, or at least for 15 minutes of it. But uh, in that show, basically what would happen is any of the monsters that would die, they would be respawned back with Ganon, but inside of this... Um, hourglass and for some reason this really brings me back to that uh it, it it's so reminiscent of that even though it's done in a much better fashion get your bombs ready here we're going to want to take out those electricity things for sure those things are a huge pain in the butt No! Oh man, this is not good. Alright, I need to take a bail. I'm not taking the chance here. That was too close for comfort. Thank <laughs> you. 
That should take care of them. All right, grab the meat, please. Grab the meat. There we go. Now you can see the altar over here is covered up, so we're going to take one of these handy dandy bombs, blow that up, plus get a little bonus food for it. This rock pushing down the way. Hopefully wakes that guy up. Yep, and it hit him. Well, it hit him, but it didn't seem to do anything. Okay, that one worked. Take a look at his necklace if you see that there. He's actually wearing our next key. Now, this. <laughs> This is just really odd. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to get it off of him. Um, there have been several times where I barely even hurt the guy, and all of a sudden that thing comes flying off of his chest. Um, there are times that I've had to actually kill him to get it off of his chest, so it seems all completely random. So basically what I do is I keep bombing this guy. The reason I use the bombs is because, well, they're free, and I do not want to... Uh, use up any of my arrows. I've tried using the arrows to try to shoot it off of his neck, to try to shoot him in the eye and then um, take it off his neck. Nothing seems to really work. So, but basically the best method that I found is just taking the easy route and, oh man, he's getting too close. So I'm gonna have to uh, run. Okay. Take the easy way out. Don't take any chances. Um, while you're fighting this guy, also pay attention to that neck the whole time. There is a chance that, of course, he's going to lose that, like I said, at any time. I don't know what causes it or how the hits work. But anyways, watch out for it. That thing goes flying. It can go into the ocean. We don't want that. Sometimes I get my buttons mixed up a little bit when I'm playing and I end up doing stupid stuff like I just did there when I ended up bombing myself, but uh, take it slow and steady. That's the must, that's definitely the best way you gotta do this. Get out of here. I don't know, Some usually when I get it off of this chest early, it's because it's from this angle. I'm wondering if I'm just giving it, like, a direct hit somewhere.
Get up. Oh no, he's gonna try that. He's gonna try knocking it back to me. Maybe better. Hopefully I don't have to go through the whole process of actually killing this guy. It may end up coming down to that, but we'll see. Come on, man. Just fall off. I guess the good thing about it doing this to me and not giving me the easy way out is uh, people can actually see that, yes, there are times that it can, 
and it's going to take a bit of time to get through it. I know there's got to be a quicker, easier method to this, but uh, I haven't found it. I found the random method, and I found this method. Go ahead and leave a comment if you know exactly how to get that thing off of his neck. At least quicker than actually killing the beast. That trick would have been the last one. I thought I would have killed him by now. getting there. Just a couple more. Oh, maybe not a couple. Alright, now that I had to do that the long way, unfortunately, we just grab the sphere we need to go all the way back up to the top of this plateau and stick it in the altar
All right, number two down. Now this next one is much easier if it's raining. Um, but as of right now, of course, as you can see, it's quite clear and not raining. So we're gonna try this anyways. We're gonna jump off, we're gonna go to this other plateau right across the way, but I'm taking a little bit of a detour first here. Just in case I need it. Now up here, there's right in that little opening there, I guess, um, is a rock that'll fall down. So I'm going to kind of come over here, let it come down, but I want to go to the other side anyways. I will be returning back over there. Let's get some better weapons on. You know what? I think we've got the wrong bow on. Got him. We're going to go back around here. Take out the other archer. <laughs> He's not there. All right. Don't get too brave. If you start to get too many people bearing down on you, take off. Let them regroup. Something's going on up there. They're still fighting. That was weird. Oh, here comes the rain. Got to get up there. Got to get up there. some of this equipment turned off before I get struck. Now you can go full frontal attack with these guys, um, take them on, but what I'm going to try to do here is just let Mother Nature run its course. You know what? I'm impatient though. That's the other archer I was trying to look for right there. Turn a weapon on. I <laughs> uh, love it. Let's get that weapon on. Now, if I can just get close enough, maybe the lightning will start striking that guy, too.
looks like he walked right on top of that. Well, the lightning's not doing its trick. Um, last time I did this, the, uh, the lightning was, like, right there, and it kept zapping him. Took him out real quick. Let's go ahead and bring him over here, then. come in handy. Oh, not right now though. Oh yes, we've got some clear sun. All right. Catch me if you can. All right. Well, that took care of them. So, as you can see, again, you know what? Just in case of any accidents. All right. See, I almost had an accident right there. All right. Stasis. Attack this thing. Grab the final sphere. And put it in its place. guys well that's how you do it um <laughs> i know this video is a little bit longer than expected but uh unfortunately these things happen but hey um go ahead and like i said if you have any comments on how to do some of those things a little bit easier please put it down there so other people can see exactly what they need to do to get through this um but uh happy hunting all you guys